Happy Monday. It is March 18th, 2024, the day before my 40th birthday. And I decided to break out something that I bought during COVID. And I was already in bed because I wasn't feeling good today. Um, I think it's more so I'm dehydrated and I might have gotten a little bit of food poisoning. So I said, you know what? One thing I said I wanted was my hands and feet done for my birthday. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get my feet done tomorrow, but we'll see. But I got this kit and I said, let me see what it's hitting so on. This is the kit. As you can see, I've had it for quite some time. It's got stains on it. It's kind of um, old looking now. I got it um, during COVID. When did I get this? Hold on, let me look. Okay, so I checked and I bought it May 12th of 2022. But I bought a Model 1's kit, which I need to find in 2020. So I need to find that one so I can review that one as well. But let's open it up. Before we open it up, this is what it says. And at first glance, you're like, oh, that's a cool kit. But the first thing I noticed... What's that word? Pretty sure that's supposed to say easily. That is not what it says though. Anyway, but this is all that it's supposed to come with. So let's open it up. This is what it looks like. Get a little pamphlet. And pretty much tells you how to do it. Oh, my nails are dirty. Um, yeah, that's that's about it. Then this, I believe, is about the lamp. Tells you how to do it. That's in another language. So, let's start over here. We get a file, two files, and it's a, this one is 100 and 180. This one is 100 and 180 as well. Then you get the nail tips. Comes in a little box. Then you get top coat, no wipe, soak off gel, extend gel, the dehydrator, the primer, a nail lamp, a clip to hold the nails on while you are putting it in the lamp, I don't know what this is. Oh, that looks like glitter. Hold on, let's look at the box. Aurora glass paper. Oh, yeah. That's Aurora glass paper. It don't say nothing about glitter, but there sure is some glitter in there. I, I'm not I'm not using that. That's gonna stay right on up in there. <laughs> so let's get to work. Okay, so here is the lamp. Um it has a power looking button, but you can't really push it. And then here is the cord it comes with. You gotta use your own butt. So let's line up our nails. I'm going to line up my nails on, off camera, but let me show you what the nails look like first. Then I'll line up my nails. This is what the nails look like. Hold on, my pajamas. And you take it and you just line it up with whatever fits on your nail. Hold on, let me get my tripod thing. So, let's see. I think that one fits good. Let's see. Yeah, I think that one fits. Oh, no. It's loose on that side, so let's go a little bit bigger. That's a lot better. Let's go ahead and pull that one off because I'm going to just do this one on camera. And then I'll do the rest. Okay, got the nail. Gonna, and I see I'm gonna file just a little, because it was just a little bit too big on the sides. Okay, 
doing this on camera is weird. All right, now to do the dehydrator, then the primer. So here's the dehydrator. I think I'm upside down. Here's the dehydrator. That's what it looks like. Now let's open it and put it on my thumb because I'm just doing my thumb on camera and I'll do the rest off camera. I'll come back and show you guys. Dude, doing this on camera is hard. All right, now I'm gonna let that dehydrator dry. And then next is the primer. The dehydrator looks pretty dry. Now let's go. Ooh, the camera's falling. I got it literally. I mean, my setup is insane right about now. Just sitting on my bed with the box of this, my thing in the box. Yeah. So here is the primer. And because of the way that the camera is set up. <laughs> I gotta do it upside down. Actually, let me try to turn it upside down. Okay, I think I got it. All right, so now we got this uh, primer. Put it on there. Get in frame. <laughs> there. Put that on there. Try not to get it on your skin. Like I said, looking through the camera lens and doing it is kind of hard. I hope that was in frame. But now, let's let that dry. So the next thing it tells me to do is buff and file the nail. But to me, that would defeat the purpose of putting on the dehydrator and the primer because that would just rip it all off with the file. So I'm not gonna do that step because I feel like that should have been done first. Um, that's just, oh, I'm reading ahead. That's after the fact, after we, no. Let me see. It says, here, let me show y'all what I'm reading. I did that. Oh, I didn't file the nail surface. That was first. I'm not reading right. Then it says to clean the nail surface, which I did. Apply the nail dehydrator uh, primer. <clears throat> Choose the nail, which I did. Now we're doing the extend gel. What I was looking at is down there, buff and trim after. So let's go ahead and start right here. Come on and focus phone. Focus. Wow. There you go. Kind of. There we go. And uh, let's go ahead and put the extend gel on. Here's the extend gel. There's the nail. Open it. This is about to be interesting. This is the clip that they give you to put <coughs> on there. So, mm, let me get this lamp ready as well. Mm. moving too much. Husband's asleep right next to me. All right. Put a little bit of this. Oh, there's the consistency. Almost like glue, if you want to be honest. So I put a little on there. you need so we'll do that let's close that up again that's what we dry out let's set that off to the side we're gonna turn that upside <coughs> down put it on my nail possible 
and actually I'm gonna hold it on there for a couple seconds and then I'm gonna hold it with my thumb while I grab the clip and clip it on there. Are you on there straight? I think it's on there straight. Let me look. It is not on there straight. Mm -mm. I don't like that at all. That ain't enough. All right, it wasn't enough. Wasn't enough. That's good. Let's put a limo on there. Because you should feel kind of a suction from all the videos I watched. That ought to be enough now. And I'll put it on there. And actually, I'm just going to put it in, on the, this band. Uh, the lamp is on. I put it in there for 60 seconds. Okay. Put it on there for 12. Now let me try to get some of this stuff off the edge of my nail because a little bit spilled out. I don't know if you can see that. So let's try to get that off with the file. Looks like I did. Now I'm going to put the clip back on. I hope y'all are seeing this. <laughs> and then I'm going to put it in there for 60 seconds. Oh, it turned off. There it goes. Well, it's on there, and it ain't going nowhere. I don't like the way it looks under there, but, like, it's on there. It's like, it's on there. <laughs> I'm happy about that. Now let's, come on, focus. Let's go ahead and paint it. I'm not gonna use gel. I'm using these two colors. I got this from the dollar store a fat minute ago. Hopefully it's still polished in there. And then I got this. So let's see what we got going on here. So I filed it off camera because it says to file it. And here's how it looks. Now we're going to go ahead and paint the nail. I want to put this on the bottom. And then I'm going to do a little bit of an ombre with the glitter. That's my plan at least. I have not done my nails in a long time. So let's see <laughs> how this goes. As long as y'all can see. Um, actually, I probably need to put some base coat on, but I don't feel like getting up to get it. Not gonna lie. I don't feel like getting up to get it. So we just gonna do this. Ooh, y'all ain't seeing nothing. This video is a semi bust, it seems. But at least you can see how easy it is. This has been done in like real time. I'm not editing out how much time it takes to do this. This is a about a 10 minute process if you, you know, do it right. It's like a nude pink. I don't know how it's coming off on camera because I can't really see the 
the camera very well. But that uh, coat needs to dry. Give me a minute, let me let this dry, then I'll come back. So that's dry, and I did a second coat. Um, not bad for my first time, I don't think. Haven't done nails since cosmetology school. <laughs> um, here's this, and like I said, I'm attempting to do kind of like a, um, oh, not this came off, hold on. Well, I guess I'll be holding it like this. <laughs> Okay. Oh, not the camera falling on me. Oh, that's what I wanted. Kind of like only on the tips. If I can find the picture, it's reminiscent of a style I got some years ago. Oh, my phone's falling. Like I said, we trying to do this in real time so y'all know how long it take. But yeah. See, it's kind of like a ombre, um, but I want a little more sparkle than that. Come on now. And then taper it down as I go down. Hope that makes sense to y'all. Yeah. Like I said in my last video, my micro lock radio, forgive my heavy breathing. I've been a heavy breather all my life and I'm sure y'all can hear my husband snoring away <laughs> all right let me let this dry I went ahead and did the top coat it's curing once that stops I like how it looks in the blue light hopefully it looks as good when it's done so yeah around my cuticles looks a little rough but this is pretty much exactly what I wanted. I wanted the sparkle ombre. And I've got my own birthday nails that I did on my own. I'll post, I'll put pictures at the end of this of all of the nails done. Too much red so this is the finished product. I was gonna show you the other hand cause it looked better. But as you can see, I've already started taking them off. But I will be doing this again cause they come right off real easy. And um, I can have nails for the day.